Hello everyone and welcome back to 60 seconds. Last time I did terribly, everybody died really quick. So today I'm going to try again and we're going to see if we can do something with this. So we need to go to scavenge, right? That's the full mode? No. No survival included. We need to go to apocalypse. There you go. Okay, let's start the apocalypse on easy mode, of course, because I still suck. Okay, so we got a few seconds to look around here. My daughter, my son, cans of soup. People are telling me not to pick up the daughter at all. They're saying that she's a waste of space and time, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want her anyway, just because I feel bad about leaving her here, you know, to die. But for now, I'm just going to grab Timmy. His name is Timmy, right? Of course it is. Timmy, get over here. And some soup. There we go. Excuse me. And Oh, this is the right way. Where am I going? <laughs> the shelter is over here. Okay, put those in. There you go. I'm going to run in here and get my wife. Got to do something while I'm down there, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, two more slots, so grab some games and some water. I need to get the radio in here for sure. And this survival thing. Somebody told me that's really important. Really important to get this, the Boy Scout stuff. So we'll get that. Get the radio. And we will get the flashlight. I think someone might have said the flashlight's pretty important as well. We're doing good on time. We're doing good. Let's get this and this. And I can't take my daughter because she's way too heavy. Way too heavy for me. Oh, crap. Where am I going? Where am I going? Got to get all the water and the food. And go to the shelter. And I want an X. If I could get a gun or some bullets, that would be great. Anybody got that? No? Oh, there's the gun. I see it. There's no point in having a gun without bullets, though. Water and soup. And go. Through the shelter. This way. This way. This way. This way. Shit. I died. What the hell? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Okay. Here are the things that I want. I want the Boy Scout thing. Uh, I don't know what that is down there. I want a gun. I want... Uh, oh, there's the gun. There's Timmy. And I need food and water. What is the thing saying? Get a radio. Yeah, I know. Radios are important. Let's uh, let's do a food run first. We'll do a food run. And then we'll uh, grab Timmy and an axe. And then we'll go from there. And go. Okay. Grab you, grab you, grab you, and you. Okay, that wasn't uh, what I wanted, but I also need water, so it's fine. Grab this, and this, and that. Okay, we got an axe. I want all the weapons, man. I think an axe is probably the best one, because you don't need to have any bullets for it. And a gun. There we go. I don't know where to get uh, bullets for the gun. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, but water is important. More important than bullets in a gun, I would imagine. People are saying you can, like, feed your family every, like, five days and they'll stay alive, which is cool. Um, yep, yeah, sure, why not? Just grab that right there. Okay. And did I get my wife yet? I think I grabbed my wife. Should we get the daughter? Let's get the daughter. Fuck it. Why not? And a med kit. Need a med kit as well. No more room! Seriously, you gotta lose some weight. Holy crap. Um, I need to get the med kit. Okay, it's pretty important. And what is this? What is this? More stuff that's really important. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, get it. Got it. Oh, that was close. That was close. Day one. I got an achievement called Super. I guess I got a lot of soup. No? Yeah, there's like a whole box there and more on the shelf. Three bottles of water. I got uh, some sort of disinfectant stuff. I got a gun, a flashlight, and an axe. And I got a map. Okay, the map's going to help if you go on runs or something, right? Maybe? So it's time to ration supplies, and honestly, I think I'm just not going to touch it at all. I have one, two, three, seven cans of soup. Okay, so water is going to be the issue here. Right now, nobody gets anything, okay? Who cares? Day two. Okay. Still, I'm not going to give you guys anything. I'm just going to chill here. Played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for around 10 seconds, and that was only because the lights went out for a moment. Mary Jane isn't worried. Timmy seems okay. Dolores is doing quite well. Good. Should we start preparing an expedition? Somebody told me that Timmy is the best at um, going out places, so we're going to send Timmy. Mary Jane has been asking for water. Timmy wants water. Dolores wants water. Ted wants water. Okay, well, you're not getting any, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> we need to make a choice for today's expedition. We're going to send Timmy because he is apparently good at running around and stuff. He looks like an idiot. I mean, he's like just staring at the wall like that. I mean, whatever. If he wants to go out and get killed, he totally can. Okay, so uh, Mary Jane keeps fainting now. Um, Dolores will not survive without water any longer, and Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave because of the water. So now we'll give you guys some water. Good. And Timmy's gone, so we don't need to worry about him. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, we don't have a radio. It's showing down on bottom that we don't have a radio, which is kind of rubbing it in saying, hey, you know what you didn't get? Well, something that's pretty damn important. But there's not much I can do about it now. Sorry. 
Let's just move on to day five and keep going. What day did I get to last time? I don't even know. Everyone is really tired, but nobody's complaining about food. So, good. You don't get any. Day six. You're all still alive, but you look like crap. What's going on today? Uh, everyone seems fine. You guys haven't eaten in forever and you're doing fine? I probably should have picked up more water and less food. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever happens now happens, guys. I could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. And there goes another one. Oh, damn it. We're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start flooding. Floating. Okay. Well, we're going to grab the, uh, the map. I don't know what that's going to do. But we'll find out. It did nothing. I don't know why, but uh, I was assuming that the map was going to do something when we, when we clicked on it. Nope. Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hit our map, we tore it down. Oh, okay. Okay. It's the only thing to not get wet during our little flood. After the water levels had dropped, we started cleaning up. We might not finish before the next apocalypse hits. <laughs> Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Water's all Dolores wants. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted should drink something soon. So we got another day before we got to give anybody water so you guys can shut up. We decided to peek outside. Oh, we got three things we can use here. Can we use all three? No, we can only use one. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing when we were... About to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had a moment, had moments to decide what to do. We're going to use this spray on him, okay? The bullet, the, the gun has no bullets. And if it's a growl, it's probably not going to be scared by a gun. So we're going to go with that. I hope that's a smart move. We'll see who's alive right now and then we'll know. Timmy's back! Timmy made it back! He looks like he's not doing well, but he's back. So I'm happy. Insect killing spray can wipe out uh, any mutated mosquito as well as creatures lurking in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. Good. We we're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The proud Ellison Hotel was completely destroyed. Piles and piles of luggage were lying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms on lower levels partially survived. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they were a five-star hotel. And we got one of those. Um, every room was stocked with water bottles for guests. A few of them remained relatively untouched by the explosion. So we got a water bottle and some soup. So uh, that'll hold us for a little while. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. She keeps fainting. We nearly need to find her some, some of the drink. Everyone needs water. Okay. There you go, guys. Have your food and water. And Timmy is sick, so we're going to make him better before he makes everybody else sick. Not going to last too long, though. Looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Nobody can go. So we will not be doing that. Wait, tomorrow they could though. Yeah. Now nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. There's no point of risking it right now. We don't need supplies that bad. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked... Yeah, I heard this before. Whatever. It's not going to happen, okay? You're going to die down here. Sorry. Though I hear after, like, 50 days, you get rescued. Maybe. Sure. So they're telling me that we should have a radio, but I can't do much about that now because I don't have one. Timmy is cured but hungry. Mary Jane is hungry. Dolores is fine and well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. And Ted is hungry. Didn't I feed you guys? You're not getting more food yet, okay? You're just ungrateful. Son of a bitch. And nobody's going anywhere. Nobody is going anywhere yet. Day 10. What we make up today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin size shelter? Timmy is hungry. Today's been fine for Dolores, and Ted is fine. So I guess we'll give Timmy some food. No, not yet, Timmy. You don't need any food yet. Stop complaining. I still don't want to make anybody sick, but eventually I'm probably going to send out Mary Jane. I hear that she's basically a hunk of junk. Yeah, maybe we'll just send her out tomorrow. To hell with it. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is far from roses. And you guys can use this stuff. The, uh, the spray. Yeah. That'll stop them from getting sick, right? Because we don't want to get sick. I think we should send Mary Jane out now to find some stuff. Why is there a robot on the wall? It says X. No, it's a robot or something. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the bug spray helped. Everybody is um, uh, feeling, I guess, less smelly now. Cool. Mary Jane is thirsty and has to drink something. Can't leave Timmy for too long. Drink and drink. Not yet. Not yet. Today's a good day. Nobody can go outside. Why not? Why, why, why can't she go outside? I want to send her outside. You're killing me here. Oh, we'll feed her. We'll feed her and then we'll send her. Well, no, she's doing good now. Look. Oh, just dehydrated. You're dehydrated, hungry, and tired. Dehydrated and tired. So if we give her some water, 
Maybe it'll be okay. Okay, Timmy needs water now. Everybody needs water now, don't they? Okay, I'll uh, I'll give you guys some water and I'll give you some food so we can send you outside to die. Oh, she's already good. She's already good. Well, maybe we won't give you that food then. If you take that food, well, I mean, you're just gonna leave with it and you're probably not gonna come back. Enjoying the little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if the, these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, plenty of them might be worth a shot. Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? Sure, why not? You gotta take a risk sometimes in life, okay? Do it. It's probably not gonna work at all. Here goes nothing. Soil seeds, water, we'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. But I also hear she's an idiot, so who knows? Nobody really has any problems that I'm going to deal with today. We have no water left. I should not have done that. It's time for Mary Jane to go outside. Get out of here. Go find us some water and come back when you're done. Or we'll all just thirst to death. We'll all... We'll all die of thirst. That's the one, right? Okay. Timmy needs food. Everyone needs food. Here, have some food. Okay. We got plenty of food, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, I know. I don't have a radio. Stop it. You're just rubbing it in. If I could go get a radio, I would. Okay? But I can't. Because it's the whole apocalypse situation. I thought we were, you know, over this before. <laughs> okay. Day 15. If there's one thing we need to do is use a radio on a regular basis to catch any merch. <sighs> Stop. Stop with the radio. You're not getting one. <laughs> Timmy's hungry. Happy about getting him something to drink. Um, there has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. And if Ted doesn't drink anything, it won't last long. So you guys are drawing pictures of soup. Cool. No water for you. You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments, but of course everybody is just being a bitch. Day 16. We're done fighting, but for how long? Timmy should eat something. He needs water now. Uh, Timmy's the only person who needs water right now, so I'm going to give the water to him. Okay. About to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a traitor. Yes! Yes! We are going to give him our chess, because we don't really need it. I don't think. Or checkers is what it is, but either way... Whoa. Are we going crazy? I think we might be going crazy. Which isn't good, to be honest. We offered checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammunition is. We pretended to understand nothing. Uh, it was very amusing until he left with our checkerboard. Fuck. <laughs> Timmy's very hungry. Dolores needs water. Ted needs water. Cool. Well, I don't have any water, so I hope, uh, you know, Mary Jane comes back. A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided that camel have five legs. Okay. The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Offers one water for the checkers board. Really? I just gave that away. Sweet Jesus. Okay. No big deal. I think it's time we all died. Oh, yeah. We all died on the same day. Timmy is alive, but apparently if you're Timmy, um, you can't, you know, hold your own in an apocalyptic shelter thingy. I, I swear, guys, we just needed, like, one more day for Mary Jane to come back. We really shouldn't have planted those seeds. Whatever happened to those? I didn't even see him again. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time if she ever comes back. Or we're dead and she won't. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We spent 18 days in our shelter. All of us are safe. Silent as the grave. Fighting the tide. Hotel raiders. Missed radio communications. That's like every day. Every day is missed radio communications. You just like to rub it in. You reap what you sow. Every bullet counts. Door-to-door -door sales. Which would have been great if we had something to actually give them. Mary Jane didn't return to us. Dolores died. Ted died. Perished. Okay. Well, that was definitely absolutely no better than before. If you guys uh, if you guys have any tips for me you want to give me, you can leave them down below. I probably said it in the last episode too. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, I guess there's certain things you really need to have. And radio is probably one of them. Next time, if I play this game again, if you guys want to see some more of this... I will definitely grab a radio for sure. And, uh, yeah, I just gotta be more smart. Don't give a checkerboard to a guy who wants ammunition. I read that wrong. I thought he would, like, trade you the, uh, the checkerboard for something good. Or he'll give you something good for the checkerboard. But I guess not, okay? I guess he just wanted to, uh, run off with our checkerboard. Well, I hope he enjoys it. Because we're all dead anyway, so who gives a shit? The end. 
Anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to end this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.